One of the things we're doing is we're heading out to the Pilliga on the 13th to the 15th of April to lead a tour of the coal seam gas field out there to see what's happening with the exploration. We'll take you to the area where the toxic water spilled out and all the trees have died. We'll take you to the areas where the company's been dumping its treated water into the creek and where we found that water to contain high levels of ammonia and cyanide. We'll take you to the beautiful areas that they haven't got to yet, where if they get their full gas production field approved, um, that will turn into a massive gas field. And we'll, there's some beautiful views out across to Mount Capitone, across the whole Pilliga, where as far as the eye can see, all you can see is bushland, which is an amazing thing. There's not many places left in Australia where you have that experience. So that's a really great opportunity to see firsthand the impacts of coal seam gas and learn about what it'll mean for our bush and for our farmland. And the other thing we're doing is we're organising a forum on the 2nd of May here in Armidale at the Town Hall. We're hoping you'll all come along and bring heaps of friends. And we're going to have some great speakers. We've got Dr Marion Lloyd-Smith from the National Toxics Network. And she's going to be talking about the health impacts of coal seam gas. There's some very serious risks associated with coal seam gas wells. And that's really been borne out in Queensland by families who've ended up next to coal seam gas wells their children experiencing some really awful symptoms. Bleeding from the noses and the ears, awful rashes, asthma and all those kinds of things. And this is really the hidden risks of coal seam gas that um, you don't hear about much but are really serious. We're also going to have a great guy from Inverell, John Polglaze, who's a geologist and a hydrochemist, come and talk about the potential impacts on water from coal seam gas. Obviously, you know, water is our most precious resource. Once damaged, there's really nothing you can do to put back our you know, precious underground aquifers. So there's no going back from this. And John will talk about the very serious risks. He'll talk about the research from America and the experiences in America and Queensland and what's happened to water resources once coal seam gas takes over an area. Um, and I'll speak as well about the, what's going on with coal seam gas in our region. So we'd love it if you could all get along to that and it'll be lots of really good information. Great. Yes. Dumb question. Is it suitable to bring young children?